Today we're in section 11.5 and we are talking about the special relationship between how you change the dimensions of the figure um, and versus how you can change the areas of those figures. So we need special rule. So let's sort of do an experiment um, with this rectangle. So our original rectangle has a length of eight centimeters and a width of three centimeters. So let's say I'm going to triple my dimensions. So my new length would be eight times three, which is one eight. And my new width would be three times three, which is nine. So I'm tripling my dimensions. That means I'm multiplying my dimensions by three. That number that I'm multiplying my length and my width by is called my scale factor. So my scale factor in this instance is three. Now let's calculate the area of these rectangles. So the area of this first rectangle is 24 centimeters squared. And the area of this rectangle nine times 24 is 216. So you might be thinking, oh, I multiplied my side by three to get my new side. Maybe I'm going to multiply my area by three to get my new area. But 24 times three is 72, not 216. So what happens, we take 216 and divide it by 24, it's nine. So I'm actually multiplying my area by nine. 24 times nine gives me 216. So what's the relationship between my scale factor that I multiplied my side by versus nine when I multiplied my area by? Three squared is nine. So the moral of the story is if you are taking, there it goes, if you are taking your old dimension and a dimension is like a length, a width, a height, a radius, something like that, a base. Those are all dimensions. You take your old dimension and multiply it by a scale factor. We call it SF for scale factor. To get your new dimension, you're going to take your old area and multiply it by the scale factor squared to get your new area. So you multiply your length by your scale factor, your width by your scale factor, your radius by your scale factor. You multiply your area by the scale factor squared. So let's take a look at this example. I have this original white pentagon, and I am going to figure out what the area of this new gray pentagon is. So the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out what my scale factor is. I know the old side and the new side. So I'm going to have that same formula, old dimension times scale factor equals new dimension. My old dimension is 20. I don't know what my scale factor is. So you can call it SF or you can call it S or sometimes we call it K. Don't know why, but you can call it whatever you want. So my old dimension times something is going to give me my new dimension. My old dimension times the scale factor is going to give me that new dimension. Old side times the scale factor is going to give me the new side. So I'm going to solve for my scale factor. I'm going to divide both sides by 20. So that's going to give me a scale factor. This reduces to 4 over 5. 4 over 5. So I'm going to take my old area. I'm not multiplying it by 4 over 5. I'm multiplying it by 4 over 5 squared. So 8,050 times 4 over 5 squared is 5,150 squared. I can just type that in my calculator. So my new area is 5,150 squared. I found my scale factor by comparing my sides. And then I had to square my scale factor in order to figure out what my new area is. And notice, 4 over 5 is less 
than one. So that means that my skill factor is making my figure get smaller. So if you notice to get from 20 to 16, my side got smaller. So if I'm decreasing the size of my side, that means I'm going to decrease the size of my area. So I can make sure that at least my answer is in the right ballpark. If it had been bigger than 8,050, that would have been a red flag that I was doing something wrong. And since my side got smaller, I gotta make sure that my area is also getting smaller too. I can double check to see that my skill factor is getting is less than one. 